Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, so in today's video, I wanted to do like a really quick plan with me, um, but for daily planning. I had someone ask me a while ago um, about how like I process through daily planning. And so I just thought I would kind of share with you all what I do. Um, and I apologize for how the lighting is looking. I've got my handy dandy ring light on. Um, because it's, it's in the evening time. This is typically when I plan for the next day. Um, so basically what I do is I'll go through all of my lists. Now my kids are at gymnastics right now. And so, um, I just did yoga and I checked on some friends and then this I actually got a call about this flyover application today. Um, so I have until the weekend, uh, I think Monday to get that done. So I can kind of push that back. And then there was a couple of other things that I didn't get done today. Um, so, but this is kind of how my schedule has been essentially um, today. It was a busy, it was an extremely busy work day. I worked a lot of hours today, had dinner with the kids. We spent some time together. I got a workout in, H husband took the kids, the girls to gymnastics and I'm here quickly filming this video and then I'll be uh, finishing up some schoolwork this evening. Um, so I use the daily inserts. These are from Paper Test Designs. These are the um, Planning with Allo um, collab. Um, and I've really been enjoying these inserts. I've, I've really enjoyed the time blocking. Um, so I just like to kind of give a little, a little scribble um, and plan out my day. And then usually I break my tasks down into to-dos and my to-dos are typically home or personally related um, and then I usually will section off a small portion for content and that's more so if I have time to get it done like today I wanted to do an IG post and I just didn't have time to you know take a picture or anything like that so it just didn't happen um, and that's fine uh, you know so if I have time I'll get it done if not it's okay <laughs> so um Usually when I'm writing on this side of the daily insert, I can, I just keep it in the rings. There's no reason for me to take it out. Um, so tomorrow is October 13th. I'm hoping that this video will actually go up October 13th. So this is my to-do section. And then this is my content section. So not a whole lot, honestly, changes between you know, especially like during the work week because my schedule is pretty set in stone. Um, and tomorrow we don't, the kids don't have any activities or anything that they need to get done. So tomorrow is actually going to be an easy day in the evening. Thank goodness for that. Um, so I want to go ahead and the, what I do in the morning is this top part is always AM routine. Um, and my AM routine consists of me getting up, feeding the dogs, um, working on getting myself ready, and then I get the kids up, we get ready for our day. They've been out of school Monday and Tuesday, so tomorrow it might be a little bit more difficult getting them up, get them dressed, get them to school. Um, my youngest goes to early morning, my oldest gets on the bus, and then as soon as she gets off the bus, or gets on the bus, I hop in my car and drive to work. Um, so usually 7 a.m. is drop off time, drop off and bus. And then from 7.30 till about 3.30 is my work day. So, and it only takes me about 15 minutes to get to work. So my daughter gets on the bus about 7.15. I hop in my car, I'm at work by 7.30. So usually what I'll do is I'll just draw in like a bracket to bracket off my work day here. And then I have a meeting at 8.30, so I will just indicate that within my workday, but that's also in my work planner. But when I'm checking this in the morning to see what needs to be accomplished, that's where I look. I usually, when I get home, I don't schedule anything between the time I get home and dinner simply because, because that's the time that I use to, you know, talk to my children when they get home from school. I prep dinner, you know, whatever needs to be done that day. And we are, because we're, we get up so early, like my husband has to be at work in, early in the morning and he eats an early lunch. I work in school, so I eat an early lunch. Um, we are usually having dinner by 5 p.m. I, I know that that probably <laughs> blows a lot of people's minds, 
but we're usually sitting down to dinner at 5 p.m. and that's just because of our schedule. So dinner, and then usually after dinner, about between like probably six to seven, that's when I do all the things for the kids. So that's, um, I do homework and baths. And then um, seven, so my husband and I, my my youngest child has to, we have to lay in the bed with her to get her to go to sleep at night. Um, I, I've talked to several parents who have a very similar experience. Um, so tonight, the 12th, which is Tuesday, is my night to put the kids to bed or to put my youngest to bed. So it'll be my husband's night and they go to bed at 8.30. We are very schedule oriented in our house. So I will actually likely spend two hours working on schoolwork. That is my plan. And then at nine, that's when I typically do my PM routine. And then I hope to be in bed by 10 or 10.30. So that's kind of like my typical daily schedule during the work week. Um, and so what I'll do is to make sure I stay on track with that, I do indicate my study times on my paper test design weekly. And that's just, again, helps me stay accountable to myself. And then when I start listing out my to-dos, the first thing that I will do is I will evaluate my weekly schedule. And so my plan tomorrow is to upload. So that will go under my content section. And then I have indicated here flyover application, but I got a phone call today that that's it because it was actually due, it's actually due tomorrow that they pushed that back to Monday. They gave us more time to complete the application. So I don't really have to worry about that too much. Um, but I still haven't called the freaking orthodontist and I need to get on that. So um, <clears throat> that's going to be the first thing I do for um, tomorrow, hopefully, is call Dr. Cowan's office. That didn't get done today. Um, now, there's a couple of things that I didn't finish today, and it's because, like, the kids are at gymnastics, so there's no point in giving my kid a bath until she gets home. Um, and then update spending, I haven't done that yet. If I don't get it done, I typically try to update spending daily, so I'll indicate update spending. I've already gotten two workouts in this week, so I'm not going to stress about that. School work, it has to be a priority. So again, this is basically where I'd honestly just list out my to-dos. Another thing I really need to do tomorrow is I need to get gas because I'll be traveling out of town tomorrow or Thursday. Um, and I do have to put these ridiculous things on my to-do list. I have to put on my to-do list, check on my friends. Because if not, like the day will get away from me and I'll forget. So I use my planner how it works best for me. I know for some, like they may think that's completely ridiculous, but for me it works. Like I will put bathe my kid <laughs> on here. Um, Wednesday is also the day that I, I do a load of laundry. So I'll put laundry on my to-do list. Um, and that's either like if there's clothes or towels or blankets or something like that, I'll throw a load in the washer and dryer. So that way it's not... I don't have so much to do on the weekends. Um, so I've got, you know, call the orthodontist, update spending, schoolwork, get gas, laundry. Here we're gonna do fluency binder. That's something that um, we do for my, my youngest daughter who is in first grade um, because we're really honing in on her reading skills. So that's just something that her teacher has requested that we do every night. Um, Sophie, you know, Sophie Bath. Like I said, every night, pack lunches, that's on my to-do list. And again, I like to write it down. And I it, I think it probably may seem monotonous to like write it down daily, like continuously writing it. But it's the way my brain works. And I can like, because usually what I do is I'll reference my weekly, add my to-do list. And then this stays open on my desk like this all day long. Um, and so I'm constantly like first thing in the morning, I'm referring to that. That's the other day thing I can do that morning. As soon as I get home, I'm referring to that. And then as the evening progresses, I'm referring to this list to see what needs to be done. So as of right now, um, I feel like that those are all of my tasks that I need to get done. I will double check myself. I don't really have time to work on my goals at the moment. 
I'm not going to have time tomorrow to do an oil change. I'll probably send my husband on Saturday to get that done for me, to be honest with you. And then that's pretty much it. Um, so those are all of my to do's. Now, if other things come up, I will definitely jot it down, but that's basically the process of how I do that. And then as far as content, like today, I'm, I'm currently filming my daily plan with me. I feel like this video is probably going to go up late. So I'm going to put edit slash upload. And then I'm going to try to get an IG post up. And those are my content goals for tomorrow. Those are the things I hope to get accomplished. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. Um, and then sometimes like, because I do PR for shops, I'll put like PR posts if I need to do a PR, um, a PR posting. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, it's nothing fancy. <laughs> Honestly, it's really just me listing out all of the tasks I need to do around the house. Now, another thing that I typically do, because I normally do this about nine o'clock, um, I'm doing it a little bit earlier because it's quiet in my house right now is I will pull out and I'll show you guys really quickly. Um, and this is my big planner. Um, this is my A5 and I will pull this out and it's super zoomed in and that's fine. And I'll flip to the week, the week that I'm on and I'll, I'll plan out like, so I haven't planned out for tomorrow what I'm going to do because I haven't done my, um, schoolwork just yet. So I have a suicide PSA and it's a suicide prevention PSA that I have to do for a class that I'm taking, a mental health course I'm taking. So basically what I'll do is I'll work on that. And then depending on what I don't accomplish, I will plan for tomorrow what needs to be done. Um, and that's also part of my evening routine. Um, but, you know, I'm doing this a little bit earlier than I normally do. So I'm a little off. Um, so, yeah, that's basically how I daily plan. Um, and you know, I, I think, and this is probably me like being very rambly here, but I think with daily planning, it's what works for you. Um, sometimes I'll put a sticker down of it, something like very notable, like this was an important event that I really needed to, um, to attend. And so I put a sticker down so it stood out to me. Um, there's really nothing that necessarily needs to like stand out that isn't like just part of my normal routine. But the big thing is I've got to start tackling this to-do list. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much my planning routine um, for daily planning. And I don't plan multiple days out in advance. Um, and the reason I don't do that is because I have I have a weekly. And this is where I will like if something comes up in my mind, this is where I'll jot it down. Um, so if a to-do item comes up, I'll put it here. Um, so it's pretty simple. So it's like I have my monthly to have big picture, weekly to have big picture of how my week is going to be. And then my daily is going to be to reference what needs to be done daily on, you know, from that weekly. And then also, um, you know, what I need to accomplish on that day. I try not to make my, now I'll say Monday's to-do list was ridiculous. It was really long, but I was off work. So I had the time to invest in that. But I try not to make my to-do list too long because I want to achieve things. I don't want to migrate a bunch of tasks over. Um, and then a lot of times I'll indicate if time. And that tells me that it's something that I, you know, would love to get done. But it's not top priority. It's something I, sh I could get done or should get done. It's not a must get done. Um, so anyway, guys. That's it. And then if I have a note that I need to, if some, if there's something I need to note, I will indicate it here. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much my daily planning routine. Um, I hope you guys found this information to be helpful. Like I said, there, there's nothing fancy about it. This is just what, what serves as my brain um, because I forget stuff. And then I have this planning with Allo bookmark that I just keep here um, to mark my page if I do close my, pl my planner or take it anywhere with me. Um, I keep that here, but for the most part, like I said, this just lives on my desk. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel, feel free to comment those down below. Um, thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video and I hope you have a fabulous day.